Hey guys, uh, not too many toys, not enough time here, and today is going to be another short video. This time it's about my car, and an issue that I have seen on a lot of forums, a lot of people have reported this problem. The issue that we're going to talk about is the infamous clutch squeak. This is a Scion TC, it's a 2009. Uh, the same thing would apply for anything from 2005 up to 2000. And 10, I think, is when these cars, uh, this generation of the Scion TC was finally taken off production. This will also apply to a lot of other Toyota engines and transmissions, and my lovely assistant will demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about by depressing the clutch. Alright, so, when you press on the clutch in these cars, you will hear this little squeak. In my case, it's not terrible yet but if you do it slowly it, it's really annoying and the dealer uh, will tell you or some of the troubleshooting I've seen from dealers says you know lubricate your clutch pedal or you know blast lubrication in here on this joint over here because it gets rusty the real issue is not uh, well actually it lies within the, the bell housing of your transmission the um, this is your slave cylinder for the clutch in here there's a little pivot that pushes where the uh, cylinder actually has a piston with a, a rod that pushes on the clutch release arm and that arm is making noise inside the clutch uh, bell housing because it's pivoting on what I think is a metal ball type uh, point and when lubrication in there is lacking that pivot point starts making noise and I know that's the case because I've already done this lubrication procedure twice or so on this car and it lasts anywhere from six months to a year depending on how much you use the car and what sort of conditions you're dealing with so how are you going to deal with it and how do you make a clutch quiet again so what you want to do is typically you want to have an assistant to do this because it, you do need to actually uh, have somebody press on the clutch so you can get to the pivot point better but step one would be to go in there and remove this rubber plug it'll just pop out you notice I'm wearing gloves because it is kind of dirty and if your engine's hot watch out for the uh, exhaust manifold that will burn you alright so we got that pulled back and completely off the arm so now I don't know if I will even be able to demonstrate this very well, but if you stare far enough up into the cavity, in fact, I will try to flip the camera off, and I will try to stay in there. Tell you guys what that looks like. So in there, you will find a pivot, and that pivot needs to be lubricated. That's what's making noise. And I do apologize guys for the shaky video. I know it's my camera's not the best right now for recording this sort of stuff. So I'll try to again point out where I'm going to be working in the engine bay. You're going to be heading past your exhaust manifold, past the catalytic converter, under the coolant pipe. And you're going to be looking for this little rubber boot that's attached to the transmission and underneath it will be a hole and I'm going to try and look in there a little bit and inside of there is where you'll be trying to lubricate the clutch release arm alright so how are we going to lubricate what are we going to use we're going to use this is what I use largely because I can have this little convenient um, straw and this is the Triflow oil. Um, nothing really special about it. It's available in most any places. And I, like, I paid five bucks for this bottle probably two years ago. I am still using it. If you got something better, let me know. Um, you know, basically, you just need something with a fine applicator. Do not just take a can of silicone or lithium grease and start blasting into the bell housing. That is the worst thing you could probably do to your clutch because it will probably get on the clutch surface and then it'll at least shorten the life of your clutch if not make it slip immediately or soon after you do this service 
So I suggest using something with a manual applicator like this and trying to get the the oiled lubricant to the pivot joint only, not everywhere else inside the clutch bell housing. Clutches don't work well when they're covered in oil. Alright, so I'm not going to show this on video, but basically the idea is that I'm going to have my lovely assistant depress the clutch, which will allow me to get uh, both sides of the joint in there. I think there is a hole actually that lubrication can be added to on both sides. And basically I'm going to be in a pretty contorted position to get the lubrication in there. And But in the end, you, you can actually position yourself such that you look sort of into the opening and you can even see a little bit of your clutch or, or the pressure plate or the clutch from from the hole and you, I mean, you'll be able to see if you got the lubrication on the joint. More importantly, when you're pressing the clutch, if you got the lubricant where it needs to be, it won't make noise. So right now, just like earlier in the video, we're going to demonstrate what it sounds like before we put lubricant on it. Yeah, nasty. And that just makes your car sound terrible. So, we're going to cut out and we're going to cut back in after I put the lubricant in and show you guys what it sounds like once you do this. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, it took me about five minutes, uh, but I got lubrication down to the pivot point. You kind of have to reach in there and it's a little bit of a trial and error because you can't really see it very well. And maybe if you get like something like a mechanics mirror, you might be able to really pinpoint it, but it's just not an easy access job. Uh, you, you'll have to get your hands up and in, into the behind the radiator and into this area around the uh, slave cylinder for the clutch and kind of work your way in to uh, actually apply the lube. So now we're going to demonstrate what it sounds like when it's lubricated and just keep in mind all I did was took a bottle tri-flow and I applied it up into the pivot area of the clutch release arm. So you can see the clutch is moving, it's being depressed, and it is completely quiet. There's no noise. It's basically the way it should sound. So, simple repair, and you'll be back to a quiet, <laughs> quiet ride, essentially, that won't embarrass you at every traffic light. So, essentially, your last step for this job is to get this boot back into that hole that you took it out of. This is where your helper will come in really useful because what you will do is take this boot, stretch it back over the arm, and kind of squeeze it down toward the transmission. And one of the challenges you'll run into is that with a clutch not depressed, it'll be kind of tough to get the boot, the, the this lower edge of the boot, into the hole that it goes in. This edge has to be inside the bell housing otherwise it's not really securely fastened to the transmission. So what you'll want to do is basically work this edge around and it's helpful to get your assistant to press in the clutch like so so you can actually position the rubber piece into the hole correctly while the clutch is depressed and then when they release the clutch you can work around to the other area the other side just kind of pressing it in with your fingers you might even use a screwdriver or something to get it in so this is kind of a a tricky little process but you can get it it's it goes back in just fine you just take your time and have somebody help you by pressing on the clutch and work it in and that's really it. Once you get the rubber piece back in, you can enjoy another six months to a year of completely quiet clutch. After which point, it'll probably start making noise again, and you'll just repeat this procedure, which is really simple. There's no tools required except some oil and maybe a flashlight. And really, that's it. Um, hopefully, this helps you. If you have any questions about this little trick on um, getting your engine quiet again, uh, drop me a line. Um, you know write a comment, hey, subscribe, because you'll probably see some more neat videos come out from this channel. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.